You think we could have all the trending topics in Patwa? Could you? Can try. No, I don't think no, you can could. try. The Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sports, the Honorable Olivia Pabsi Grange, has officially launched Miss Lou 100. No, we can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Commemorating the centenary of the mother of Jamaican culture, the Honorable Louise Bennett Covelli. The celebrations will include the official renaming of Gordon Town Square to Miss Lou Square by the Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, on Sunday, September 8th. Miss Lou's actual birthday will get going with a gathering at the resting place at the National Heroes Park beginning at 10 a.m. Public is being invited to join specially invited guests as they sing happy birthday to Miss Lou. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I feel like I want to go. You want to go? Yeah. Uh, how much do you know about Miss Lou? Well, I remember going to the National Library once when I was probably like seven. I was just there doing a reading. And I sat, so she was there, you know, we sat on the floor, actually. Yes, of course. I was all the way at the back. And a group of kids were talking, and she just turned and she did this. And everybody just got quiet. Wow, yeah. like she never needed a she word, right? She a word. It's so funny. I, I, just, I saw her around as a child, but I actually met her, not in Jamaica, in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to perform with Father Holong and friends because she had moved to Canada and started living there. And um, we did a show and post the performance she came and she met us and it was it was just like you know when you're in the presence of greatness and you're kind of oh, just feel it just feel yeah it. man so it was really good so happy birthday to you yeah. miss lou we're gonna celebrate all the way through with you and i think our, our country is so blessed with so many so many icons in entertainment i know yeah. entertainment sports, sports culture everything every we just we liquor but we talawa <coughs> Say so, it now. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> you never ever say it with fear. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right. Next time. Okay, so Nicki Minaj says so she has decided to retire. So she done, she left the work, came her mother, ready to have a family, and has told her fan that she fans that she loves them for life. She showed her BAE on Instagram, her bae. So she retire, then she care about the music thing no more, want a family. Yeah. How foolish is I mean, I mean, is she trying a Jay Z thing? I mean, I mean, it's a minute to follow up this them thing, and you know what? And, and does it matter? Look at them all sell album. You know what, what matters to me? What? Um, Kemoy Campbell. Um, he retired from track and field not because um, he wanted to, but he was forced to because of his heart condition. Mm. Someone that has served our country um, in the field of sports. Yeah. Our, her, our own icon in the distance event. So, a good friend of mine, and I really wish him all the best. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good segue. I like that. I don't really be... Aye, aye, aye. No, okay. not yet. <laughs> no. But um, whatever, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's for promotional purposes, I think. I don't think it really has anything to do with what's actually happening in her life. And even if it does, you know, if you want to retire, congrats to you. Go have babies. I'm all good with that. Next up, residents of Clarendon have been breathing sighs of relief since the news broke that a state of public emergency has been declared in the bloody central Jamaica parish. For Sandy Bay, a community which has been in the headlines on numerous occasions for criminal activities and double murders, the state of emergency is long overdue. So I've been driving around getting things done and I've been seeing checkpoints in places where checkpoints yeah, weren't I and I didn't did. think check checkpoints could fit mm -hmm. and I mean here's the thing I'm with Neville on this one as long as it is helping fine go on with it but also them kind of have to be sensitive to traffic and yeah, no, what's happening and especially the with the back to school and stuff so we big you up we know that y'all are doing your best and we know that it's for the best but in the same breath we are beg you have some sensitivity to the traffic and the facts that we are going to school and all of that good stuff. Right? You know, you know, we don't like this state emergency thing. Oh, Hope more people there. Because everything locked 9 o'clock last night. A friend of mine messaged me, she said, it's 8.45 and she's running to KFC. Oh no, KFC, KFC are locked? At 9 o'clock. No, so that can't go yeah. on. You must want people bond down place over there. <laughs> KFC are locked. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're just carrying out the duties that were assigned to them. So, yeah. and, and also, residents, motorists, be mindful as well, and you, you too, um, express just a bit of understanding. Yes, of course, yeah. that they're doing their job. Yeah. That's it, guys, for our trending topics this morning. Aye, aye, aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon come back with more Miss Lou goodness.